Good evening, everyone. It's okay, Juan Francisco, don't worry. I already wrote, I'm, I'm sorry. I already read the chat, so it's okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Catherine. Good Hi, Hello, teacher. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Fine. Fine? Okay, great. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Was it exciting? Was it uh, exhausting? You had a lot of things to do, maybe with the family? No? Everything was okay. Only resting. I know, watching YouTube videos, right? No. <laughs> well, English YouTube videos, right? To improve your English. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ajá, ya los caché, ¿verdad? Se la pasaron viendo videos de YouTube, ¿verdad? En el fin de semana, ¿eh? Pero de inglés para mejorar, ¿verdad? No, teacher, no. Ok. <laughs> Vamos a ver entonces. ¿Is everybody ready? Is it everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, there you go. Okay, just let me call the roll and remember that you have to turn on your cameras and your, uh, when you hear your name, you say present, okay? Here we go. Hello, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm driving now. Right now. Okay, no problem, Herman. Mm -hmm. But please stay connected. Just, uh, yes, pay attention on the road, okay? Your eyes on the road. Don't worry about us. Okay, thank you. Okay. For some reason, this is trying to reconnect, it says. Okay. Always something like this happen. Okay, meanwhile, this uh, site is still reconnecting. Um, let's start with the class, okay? We're gonna, we're not going to lose any moment or any minute here, okay? Because time is money, time is so valuable, okay? So let's think about the topic that we were studying. A ver, ¿quién recuerda cuál fue el tema? Who remembers? How much, how many teacher? Excellent, how much and how many, very good. So let's go and check this. We were saying that around us, there are a lot of things and objects that we can um, identify, okay? So everybody please tell me um, things that you see. What is there 
around you. This is going to be the first exercise we are going to do, okay? This is the first exercise we are going to do. So please, everybody think about, ¿Sí me escuchan bien? Buenas noches, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello, yes, teacher. good evening. Ok, yes. entonces, ahorita todos mirando alrededor de ustedes las cosas que hay y que ustedes ya conocen y saben el vocabulario. Entonces, uh, mientras, um, voy a introducir la clase y luego les pregunto, ok? Ok, teacher. Okay. Todo se ha quedado acá, reconnecting. Okay, today we are in our video conference number four. Good evening, and, teacher. Hello, good evening. And the topic for tonight is a simple present negative statement. Simple present negative statement. We are still studying how much and how many, and we are going to finish also some details about that, and we are going to practice how much and how many. But also we are going to study the simple present negative sentences, okay? Now, uh, the objective for tonight class is that you will be able to make negative sentences in the present tense. So you are going to learn, not exactly learn because you know it, um, but practice. Doesn't and don't, okay? The agenda for tonight is our feedback, okay? It says an online game, even though it is a practice, a listening practice. Then we are talking about money and how to use how many for countable things and how much for uncountable things, okay? Then we are going to practice the simple present negative statements. And we are having a dialogue to practice in the breakout rooms. And then we are going to talk about our daily routine and our benefits, our work perks. Okay, so uh, this is what our class is going to be. So let's start. Déjenme ver si ya cargó la nuevamente la página de la asistencia. Nope. Cerrar y que vuelva a cargar. Háganme un favor todos, por favor, en el WhatsApp, si pueden accesar, todos pónganme present. Ok, así en el WhatsApp ahorita para luego chequearlo porque está la hoja me está dando demasiado problema el sitio para eh, tomar la asistencia. Ok, todos por favor me ponen presente 8 pm, presente, presente, ok. Okay, thank you very much for doing it. Gracias. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Por alguna razón, no sé si es la conexión a internet lo que me está molestando. Ok, bien, vamos a continuar entonces con la clase. Ok, y les decía para que eh, ustedes ahorita estuvieran pensando en las cosas que están alrededor de ustedes. Sí, toda la máquina se ha quedado trabada. Ok, aquí era donde estábamos la última vez, cuando nos fuimos. Ok, y hablábamos de los countable and known counts or uncountable nouns. Ok, so let's think about the countable nouns. What nouns can we say around uh, in our places? Ok, so Wendy, what is there around you that you can tell us? What is there? ¿Qué hay alrededor suyo? A ver, díganos alguna cosa que hay alrededor de usted. Que usted conozca el nombre. Sí. TV. Ok. Window. Window, TV. Uh -huh. Door. What happened here? Door. Ven que toda la... Cosa esta. Ok. Vamos a usar el del zoom. Ok, here we go. Window. Door. Uh, TV. And door. Ok, great. Now, let's see. Marianne, what is there around you? Um, picture. Pictures. Mm -hmm. um, mm. How do you say libro in English? Teacher? Book. 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 Mm -hmm. Book. Um, mm -hmm. How do you say mueble in English? Mueble? Mueble where you keep your things, where you store your, your things, or where you can sit. Is una mesita de noche. Okay, then that's a night table. Okay, night that's table. a night table. Yeah, night table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Marianne. Henry, Alberto, please tell us what is there around you? Uh, and first, I want to tell you that they sent me a link uh, to the another class, and I say this is not my this is is not my teacher. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay, but you may always. But, but I but but, but I hear. <laughs> okay, great. Remember that your class okay. uh, is the same link. We don't change the links. So you can connect in the same link you received at the beginning. Maybe you received this link uh, through the email from Inglés Corporativo. So you are not going to be confused anymore. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay, then. Well, I, I can see a, a door, chair. A, a chair, coach, uh huh. Coach, uh, PG Bank. A couch. Coach, uh huh. Okay. PG Bank. It's correct. I can see it. Yeah, a piggy bank. Mm -hmm. Piggy bank, okay. In career, career, mirror. Uh, mirror, a clock, clock. clock of what? Mirror. Thank you very much. Mirror, clock. And these are countable things. We can say a window, okay? Because it's only one, right? We add a 
Miren, a, este, a estos objetos que podemos contar, podríamos decir a, ¿verdad? Como un, ¿ok? Si ya hay más de una ventana, entonces ponemos el número exacto, ¿ok? Si es un número aproximado, que no sabemos cuántos, entonces utilizamos some, ¿ok? Entonces, for example, a TV, a door, a, uh, uh, here she said picture and I said in plural pictures, right? So we can say some pictures, ¿ok? Aunque ella nos lo dijo en singular, yo lo puse en plural, ¿ok? Book, book, podríamos decir a book or some books, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, a night table or a night stand, también puede ser, con esa palabra así, stand. A chair, ¿ok? La podemos contar, por eso le ponemos a chair, ¿ok? A couch, uh, I don't remember if it is with an O, ¿ok? Like this. Uh -huh. A, a piggy bank, a mirror, MP, MP. a clock, okay? So, if I ask, how many TVs are there in your house? How many TVs are there in your house, Aníbal? Uh, a one, uh, only, only TV. Ok, entonces usted me puede decir, there is oh. only one TV. Va, oh. Vamos a poner eso, esta frasecita que es bien importante, ok, que se dice así, there is, es hay para singular, ok, there is y there are para plurales, esto significa hay. Ok, cuando yo pregunto how many, cuando yo pregunto uh -huh. how many, como es una pregunta, hay que cambiarle el orden. Oh. Entonces decimos how many oh. y decimos el sujeto. Ok, ¿cuál es el sujeto en este caso? Podríamos decir TV. Ok, how many TV. Ajá, TV. Lo preguntamos en plural, ¿verdad? How many TVs are there? in your house because we want to know a number okay we want to know a number this is the way to ask how many tvs are there in your house ah entonces para responderlo vamos there a utilizar esta esta frasecita que hay there is. exactly oh. entonces sería there, there is, is one tv, one TV. Thanks. Thank you very much, Aniva. Now, I'm going to ask, how many TVs are there in your house, Jose Arnoldo? Siempre sería, there is close, closer. O siempre sería acá... Si hay eh, más de ya. una, si hay más de una televisión, usted va a decir, there are, y me dice el número de televisiones que hay. Ah, ok. No, pues sería, a close, a ah. ventilador. Oh, Ay. ok, usted me está diciendo las cosas que hay alrededor de usted, ok. Ajá. Uh, pero ya cambiamos a la, la pregunta, ah. ¿verdad? Entonces lo voy a ubicar un poquito, José Arnoldo. Mire, ahorita yo le pregunto a usted cuántas televisiones hay en su casa. ¿Ok? How many TVs, televisions, sí, are there in your house? Entonces usted va a responder, there is one TV. Uh, there is one TV. Exactly. Entonces, yo le vuelvo a preguntar, José Arnoldo, ya para hacerlo más así cabalito. How many TVs are there in your house, José Arnoldo? One. Sería, there is one TV. 
Excellent. Kelly Maricela, how many TVs are there in your house? There is one TV. Excellent. Rebecca, how many TVs are there in your house? Mm, there is one TV. Excellent. Excellent. Manuel Edilberto, how many TVs are there in your house? In my, ha in my house, there is one TV. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I'm going to ask a different one. Uh, siempre acuérdense que este one puede ser sustituido por a. Ok, one puede ser sustituido por a y prácticamente significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿qué tal si hubieran más televisores? Que hubieran dos. Maybe yeah. you have two televisions, yeah. then there are two. two. There are okay. two TVs. Two TVs. Excellent. TVs or televisions, okay? Oh. You can say either both. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are two televisions. There you go. Here we are. Entonces, aquí hemos visto ya. Utilizamos how many para countable nouns. Okay. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir a door, two doors, three doors. I can say one picture, two pictures, three pictures, etc. A book. Ah, then I can I can count the books. I can say one book, two books, etc. Ok, bien, vamos entonces a ver alrededor de nosotros si tenemos cosas que no podemos contar. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver cosas que no podamos contar. El concepto de cosas que no se puede decir uno, dos, tres. Ok, vamos a ver entonces. I will start asking. Voy, voy a borrar este. Okay. So the uncountable. Bien. Uncountable are nouns that we cannot count. Use usually or uh, most of them are, for example, liquids, gases also, um, cereals. Okay. Like there, there are a lot of uh, pieces of it and we cannot count it okay so let's think about these kind of things okay veamos I'm going to ask Henry Ramirez what is there around you that you can tell me that it is it is uncountable pollution okay pollution mm -hmm. water water mm -hmm. fire fire okay are they cooking around you <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> okay no. great great thank you very much henry carmen ines what is there around you i'm sorry i can barely hear you you said something like juice. Si, juice. si no me equivoco, okay. Did you say juice? juice? Oh, okay, great. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Juice. Coffee. Coffee. Um, tea. Tea. Mm -hmm. um, how do you say frijoles? Beans. Beans. Okay, thank you very much, Carmen. Catering, what is there around you that you can tell us it, that it is uncountable? Oh, uh, how do you say the electricity? Electricity, electricity. yeah, electricity. Electricity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the fluid of the electricity, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say the piso? Floor. Floor. Uh, floor. Floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Floor. Okay. Floor. 
Even though we can count the floor, I mean, uh, this is kind of a different. Um, uh, type of nouns. Hay unos nombres que pueden ser las dos cosas. Pueden ser contables y pueden ser incontables. Eh, por ejemplo, estábamos hablando en la clase anterior que el cabello, ¿se recuerdan? Que el cabello es contable y es incontable. Contable cuando realmente pues podemos contar uno por uno, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, que nos referimos que le ha caído un pelo en la sopa. There is a hair in my soup. Right. Pero si nos referimos a uh, do my hair, okay, uh, my hair is complete, so it's uncountable, right? Some hair. Now, the floor, it's kind of similar, okay? También podríamos decir otro, um, otro nombre, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, eh, Existen es nombres school. como star, excuse me. School. School is countable. Ok. Countable. School, sí, uh, school lo podemos contar. Podemos decir una escuela, dos escuelas, tres escuelas. Ok. Of course, okay. we can count. Ok. Ok, there you go. Y existen otros nombres que pueden ser las dos cosas a la vez. Ok. Este floor puede ser. Eh, como de esos, okay, que puede ser contable e incontable. Bien, vamos entonces a decir cuál es la pregunta. Ok, armemos la pregunta. How much pollution okay, is there? Ajá, en este caso vamos a utilizar is para los incontables, ¿ok? Vamos a utilizar is there para los incontables, como que fuera en un singular, ¿verdad? Porque no tiene plural, no tiene un plural porque no es contable, ¿verdad? So, how much pollution is there in your city? Podríamos decir, ¿ok? How much pollution is there in your city? Ah, para contestar necesitamos cuantificadores porque no podemos decir one pollution, two pollutions. It doesn't exist. It's not correct. Entonces podríamos decir a lot of pollution. Podríamos decir some pollution. Okay. Podríamos decir um, a little. Okay. Un poco. ¿Ok? Y estos son cuantificadores. ¿ya? Vamos a responder de acuerdo a la información que nos dan. There is a lot of pollution. There is some pollution. ¿Ok? There is a little pollution. ¿Ok? What about the fire? ¿Ok? How much fire. We cannot count a fire, okay? We cannot count the fire, even though we can count some fires, uh, como las fogatas, esas sí las podemos contar, ¿verdad? Como las fires. Entonces, también fire como que se viene convirtiendo en contable e incontable, okay? One fire sería como una fogata, okay? How much fire do you need to burn out a house, okay? How much fire do you need to burn out a house? ¿Cuánto fuego usted necesita para quemar una casa? Okay, then we can say a lot of fire. O podríamos decir just a spark, okay? Just a spark, o solo una chispa, ¿ok? Just... Sí, estos ya son otro tipo de respuestas, pero son muy prácticas, ¿verdad? A lot of fire, some fire, a little of fire, sería de just a spark, ¿ok? So it will be like a little of fire, ¿ya? Yeah? 
So, let's continue with, for example, the beans. Vamos a agarrar el ejemplo de beans. How much beans are there, uh, is there, I'm sorry, is there in the, um, we can say in the box, okay? Or in the bag, in the bag, okay? Oh. In the bag. Entonces yo puedo decir, there is a pound of beans. Este es otro tipo de cuantificadores que son medidas. A pound owns, okay, owns, onzas, se escribe así, okay. Kilograms son otras medidas que podemos utilizar. Por ejemplo, para los cereales, rice, beans, ¿qué otros cereales podríamos uh, decir? Rice. Rice, sugar, okay. Sure. Sugar, Co for sugars we, uh, yes, coffee, sugar and coffee, we can say, we could say a spoon, okay? Old a milk? spoon of oatmeal? Oatmeal, yes, oatmeal. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we can uh, use measurements, medidas, para poder responder a esto, okay. En el ejercicio que les envié, los que lo hicieron están un poquito más familiarizados en este momento con este tipo de nombres. Vamos a ir a un ejercicio, ¿ok? Para que veamos cómo usamos how many y cómo se estructuran las oraciones. ¿Ok? Empezamos con how many. We count nouns, ¿ok? Let's answer these questions. Let's answer these questions. How many books do you read in a month? Um, let's ask. Um, Wendy Maricela, how many books do you read in a month? ¿Cuántos libros lee en un mes? How many books do you read in a month? One. Wow. Okay. Vamos a armar la oración, ¿ok? Cuando demos una respuesta, demos la completa. Obliguemos a nuestro cerebro ahorita a armar la oración completa para que después no nos cueste, ¿ok? Ya después va a ser casi que innecesario, pero en este momento es necesario que su cerebro se ordene, ¿ok? Entonces, how many books do you read in a month? I read one book. Monthly, podemos decir, porque in a month or every month puede ser monthly, ¿ok? Mensualmente, ¿remember? Vamos a ver, le voy a volver a preguntar, Wendy Maricela. How many books do you read in a month? In one month. I read one a ver, dígala conmigo la respuesta. I read, I read one book, one book monthly. Monthly. Excellent. Um, let's see. Thank you very much, Wendy. Rebecca, how many books do you read in a month? Um, I read uh, one book monthly. Okay, I read one book monthly. A ver. Cuando me salga alguien que no lee, vamos a explicar algo, ¿ok? How many books do you read in a month, Henry Alberto? Hoy es el momento que lo explique. <laughs> okay. This is the moment. This is the moment, please. This is the moment. Okay. Thank you very much for being the example for everybody. Okay. Bueno, para decir que yo no leo ningún libro, ¿verdad? Me están preguntando cuántos libros leo. Bueno, yo puedo decir I don't read any book. Okay? I don't read any book. Okay? ¿Cómo es la forma negativa? Don't. ¿Por qué? Porque no. el sujeto es I. ¿Sí se recuerda? Yeah. I yeah. do not read any book. Ok. Hoy sí. Vamos a ver, Juan Francisco. How many books do you read in a month? Ah, Juan Francisco was driving, I remember. Georgina, 
how many books do you read in a month? I uh, I read one book monthly. Okay. Or, or negative. I don't know. According to your information. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I read one book monthly. Okay, great, great. Let's uh, listen to Manuel. How many books do you read in a month? I don't read any book. Okay, great, great. Vamos a preguntar la siguiente, okay? Yeah. Dígame. ¿Y cuando es de vez en cuando? Uh, you can say um, every other month. Okay. Puede decir, I read one book every other month. Okay. Así, porque le están hablando del mes, ¿verdad? Porque le están, permítame que se me quedó esto aquí. Puede decir, every other month. Okay. Porque le están preguntando del mes. Ahora, si fuera de días, usted puede decir every other day. Si fuera de años, every other year y así. Pero generalmente es para days and months or weeks, ¿verdad? Periodos más cortos, like every other day, every other month, así. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Estamos correctos? Thank you, teacher. Ok, there you go. Ahora vamos a ver. Rolando José, how many YouTube videos do you watch a day? No sé si dijo, eh, no sé si es mi nombre eh, o otra persona porque mi nombre es José Arnoldo. Y dijo José Rolando, no sé si hay otro. Oh, thank you, José Arnoldo. Sí, existe acá en la clase Rolando José. Ah, ok, perdón. Thank you very much. Ok, Rolando, cuéntenos. Tell us, how many YouTube videos do you watch a day? I watch uh -huh. two videos a day. Ok. ¿Le creemos? Sí, digan todos, yes. claro que sí, 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 ok. And they are English videos, ok. I watch yes. two videos a day, ok. Let's say YouTube, even though you can watch also Facebook, right? Facebook real videos. Ok, now I'm going to ask. Um, Karina Elizabeth, how many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? ¿Cuántas tortillas ustedes se comen cada tiempo de comida? How many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? I, I eat um, one tortilla. Okay, great. I eat... One tortilla. One tortilla. Okay. At each meal time, right? There we go. Okay. At each meal time. Meal time, tiempo de comida. No. Okay. Meal <laughs> es comida, pero es el tiempo de comida. Okay. Meal time. Meal time. Cuando no se especifica si es almuerzo, si es cena, si es desayuno, usted puede decir meal time. Ok. 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 Thank you very much. Aníbal, how many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? I eat, I eat two tortillas at each meal time. Great. Carmen Inés, how many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? I eat one tortilla that is. Okay, very good. Let's see. Isidro, how many tortillas do you eat at each meal time? I eat two tortillas at each meal time. Very good, very good. Bien, vamos a pasar a la número cuatro, okay? Vamos a ver, solo que ahora vamos a cambiar la dinámica, ¿ok? 
Vamos a cambiar la dinámica. A ver, esta se lee así. How many buses do you take to get to your workplace? How many buses do you take to get to your workplace? A ver, quiero por lo menos ver que están moviendo los labios conmigo. How many buses how, do you how take many buses to do you get take to, to, your get work to your workplace? Ok. Henry Ramírez, pregúntele a José Arnoldo. José Arnoldo, how many buses do you take to get to your workplace? Armemos la oración, José Arnoldo. Para poder contestar, mire, todas tienen el sujeto I, porque usted está contestando, ¿verdad? Entonces sería I. I. ¿Y cuál es el verbo que le están diciendo? I. Acá está el verbo, mire. I take. Take. take uh -huh. The buses. I take. ¿Cuántos buses toma? Yo realmente no tomo bus, bus de ah, chat porque viajo en, en motocicleta. Ok, I don't, ajá, así como la primera, mire. I don't. I don't. Uh -huh. take. I don't take any bus. Excelente. I don't take any, any bus. bus. Any ok. Bus. I ride my motorcycle ok ride es el verbo que usamos para el movimiento de la motocicleta ¿verdad? para el bus es que usted agarra un bus take the bus aborda un bus para la motocicleta usted monta una motocicleta entonces decimos ride ok I ride my motorcycle ok ¿Vamos bien hasta por ahí? ¿Is there any questions so far? No. No questions? Ok. No Let's see. Esta otra pregunta se lee así. How many students are there in your English class? A ver, muevan sus labios por lo menos. How many students, How many students are, are there in your English class? Ahora lo vamos a decir ya en una, forma, en una velocidad más normal. How many students are there in your English class? How many students How many are there, there, are there in, in your English class? Ok, lo vamos a decir lento todos otra vez. How many students are there in your English class? Ahora velocidad normal. How many students are there in your English class? How many students are there in your English class? Thank you very much. Herm, ah, Herman's still driving, right? Herman's still driving. Wendy Maricela, pregúntele a Georgina, number five. Uh -huh. No veo la pantalla. No la mira la pantalla. Wendy Maricela, ¿no la alcanza a ver? No, no. Ok, entonces vamos a... Mientras usted se, se arregla por ahí, vamos a ver. Eh, José Arnoldo, pregúntele a Georgina. Hey, teacher. How many students are they here in your English class? They are eighteen uh, students. Okay, there are mm -hmm, eighteen students today, right? Even though we have twenty-two usually, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You did a very good job. Ok, ahora yo pregunto, ok, ahora yo pregunto, how many employees are there in your company? 
Vamos a ver, voy a agarrar así cada uno. Ulises, how many employees are there in your company? Esta ya no empieza con I, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos a armar la oración usando there is uh, o yeah. there are. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Ulises. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Here in the house. Great. Is it, is it Herman? Is it Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco. Great, Juan Francisco. Thank God you were there already. Okay. Ulises, se me fue Ulises. Ulises. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Okay, there you are, Ulises. Ah, hoy sí. Volví, How volví. Many, okay, yo le voy a hacer la pregunta y usted contesta. How many employees are there in your company? There are... 20 employees in my company. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Ulises. I'm going to ask Kelly Maricela, do you drink coffee in the morning? Usted toma café en la mañana? Yes. Okay, how many cups of coffee do you drink in the morning? I drink one cup of coffee. Excellent. I drink one cup of coffee in the morning. Okay, great. Thank you very much. How many cups of coffee do you drink in the morning, Manuel Edilberto? Uh, I drink one one cup of coffee. Great, in the morning, right? Okay, morning. great. Is there any question so far? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de esto hasta el momento? Oh, question teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, este, cuando yo no voy a tomar, cuando no tomo café es, I don't drink coffee in the morning. Exactly. Eh, Eh, para decir, este, para decir, sería, en mi caso sería, I drink one cup and the old milk, old milk in the morning. Excellent. Yes. No. That's correct, Anil. Oh. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you love like atolito, right? Yeah. yeah. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Ok, esto es con el uso de how many, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver entonces el how much y nos vamos a ir al manual porque lo importante es que aprendamos a aplicarlo. Vámonos entonces al manual porque en el manual tenemos una conversacioncita que vimos en la clase anterior acerca de benefits and work perks or money information, ¿ok? work personal information. So let's go to page number, one second. Yes, it was 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. En la plática que teníamos de Josh and Ruth. Remember? Oh, yes. Okay, it's page 14. Page 14. Let me share this with you. Decíamos que days or day is a noun that we can count. So we use how many, right? Entonces vamos a ver how many days do you work in a week or how many days a week do you work? Okay. Just let me move this thing. 
No sé por qué se ha quedado esto tan lento. Ay, se me mueve todo. Hoy sí. Okay, teníamos a Ruth and Josh. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too, I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than $600. Ahora veamos las preguntas utilizando how much cuando nos referimos a dinero. ¿Ok? Cuando nos referimos a dinero. Vemos que aquí tenemos un cuadrito. Miren. And it says how much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? Or how much do you earn monthly? Okay. How much do you earn monthly? Okay, this is the timely payment that we have the right as employees, right? We have this right by law. They have to pay you timely. Le, le tienen que pagar oportunamente, ¿verdad? Some companies pay, pays, uh, I'm sorry, some companies pay these or their salaries um, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Bi-weekly es quincenal, bi-weekly. Ok, dos semanas, bi-weekly. Lo vamos a escribir para que lo tengan ahí como vocabulario, ok. We receive our money weekly, bi-weekly. Aquí ponemos un guioncito, okay. bi-weekly. Or monthly, ok. Or month, monthly. Okay. That's our salary, the time that we receive our salary or our, our paycheck. Si le pagan un cheque, our pay, a paycheck, okay? okay? Si le hacen un depósito, my deposit payment, okay? My deposit payment. So it could be weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Pero veamos las preguntas. These are expressions. When we talk about money, we use how much. How much do they pay? How much do they pay? Ah, ¿cómo podríamos responder eso? Let's think about it. How much do they charge? Let's think about it. How much is it? Ah, esta es una pregunta para preguntar el precio, para saber el precio de algo. How much is it? Okay. Vamos a ver. How much do you earn? ¿Cuánto gana? Hay ciertos verbos que podemos utilizar cuando hablamos de eh, uh, del dinero okay? del dinero los vamos a ver más detenidamente en un momentito pero veamos las respuestas a estas preguntas ok let's look at how to answer to these questions aquí los tenemos en nuestro manual como un pequeño ejercicio que tenemos por acá Use one of the questions about to complete the mini conversations, okay? It's $10.50. Ah, qué necesario es entonces aprender a decir las cantidades en dinero, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir las cantidades en dinero, exactly. Como, well, what's our legal currency? What's our currency in El Salvador? What's our legal tender? ¿Cuál es nuestra moneda de curso legal? What's dollar. our legal tender? Is it dollar? Dollar. Is it dollar? Yeah. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Bitcoin. And? Um... A ver, vayan todos en la búsqueda de Google. Ok. Vayan todos en la búsqueda de Google y pongan legal 
tender in El Salvador, okay? Or El Salvador currency, okay? Currency se escribe así. Currency. 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 Oh. ¿Qué les aparece? Currency. So. Oh. Bitcoin and dollars. ¿Eso les teacher. aparece? Yes, teacher. Um, Bitcoin and dollar. Okay. Maybe it's because of the date. Ajá. ¿Alguien le aparece otra cosa? Colón. Yes. Colón, Colón salvadoreño. Yes. Todavía aparece. Colón dollar and bitcoin ok, todavía aparece el colón por ahí ok, uh, no sé en qué se puede usar hasta este momento o en qué se está utilizando esa, ese cambio o esa moneda, pero aparece, verdad que no estábamos así como muy al tanto que todavía aparece por ahí como solo como referencia de, de tasación les sí, sure. la verdad eh, uh -huh. collect yes. Yes, collection now Okay. Only collection. Solo por la referencia, como dice Henry, because a yes. dollar is Pre equals to yes, eight dollars and seventy-five cents, right? So, but we are talking about Cologne, yeah. So, yeah. yes. Okay, then the legal currency in our country, well, <laughs> the one that round runs in our hands, okay, from the bank to your accounts and to buy, to sell, it's dollar, okay? It's the dollar. So let's try to say these amounts in dollars, okay? We're gonna say $10 and 50 cents, okay? $10 and 50 cents. Veamos esta otra cantidad que tenemos acá. $545, okay? $545. Siempre decimos dólar al final, miren, $23, dollars. $23, dollars. $690, dollars. ¿ok? ¿Sí se queda eso? Vamos a ver, $10, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.50, $10, $0.
There you are. Entonces, las preguntas que vamos a hacer referentes al dinero es preguntando por el precio. ¿Qué más? Por salario <coughs> o por el dinero que usted gana. Este verbo earn es ganar. Okay? Este que ven acá es ganar. Make es un synonym. Okay? Make es como ganar. Como nos, hey, mira cuánto dinero hacemos. O sea, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Cuánto dinero ganas. Right? I make. Uh -huh. Acá tenemos otro verbo. Miren, how much do they charge? Charge es cargar. Ok, cargar. Así como cargar la batería, you charge your battery. And in this case, we are charging money or an amount of money. Entonces es lo mismo cargar. Ok, pero está relacionado a cobrar. Ok, cobrar. Ahora, tenemos este otro verbo que lo usamos también para dinero. Take. Take. No es que se lo roban, ¿verdad? Porque take también podría ser que se lo quitan. Pero no, en este caso no. Nosotros sí sí. más o menos decimos, mira, como 23 dólares te quitan por eso. Pero nosotros lo decimos en un buen sentido, ¿verdad? No que te lo están robando. ¿Ok? So, it's the same here. Take. Ellos cobran. ¿Ok? Ellos cobran. O cargan. Yeah? Uh, number four. Tenemos pay. Ok. Tenemos pay como el verbo pagar. Ok. Pagar. ¿Sí? Bien. Is there any questions so far? No. No. No, teacher. Ok. Nos vamos a ir a hacer un. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Checklist. Can you, teacher. Can you, can you repeat uh, the verb charge? Charge. Charge. Es como cobrarle o cargarle. Uh -huh. Thank you, Aníbal. And I'm trying to... Uh, uh, I mean, to load this thing. Les voy a pasar un link ahorita, ¿ok? Para escuchar cantidades de dinero, ¿ok? Es un ejercicio pequeñito. Se los voy a pasar por este chat primero porque no carga el otro. Ok, ahí por el chat de aquí de Zoom les pasé un link para que vayamos a hacer ese listening, ok. Oh, Henry Alberto, I'm seeing now your message. You say, I drink all of my available coffee in the morning. Oh my God. Ok. Toda la jarrilla. <laughs> ok. The complete pot. Ok. Estoy tratando de cargar todos los... Lo que tenía cargado se me ha quedado en blanco. Eso es lo que pasa. Vamos a ver. Voy a ir cerrando ahorita cosas para que vaya cargando bien. Uh, sorry, question. Tell me. We make the exercise in this moment. Sí, ahorita, vamos, hagan clic ahí, solo que no okay. pongan el, el, no compartan el audio, ¿verdad? Solamente escuchando y haciendo. Y luego aquí vamos a hacer un ejercicio y yo voy a dictar unas cantidades y ustedes me las van a escribir en el chat, ¿ok?
si por alguna razón me desconecta, no se me vayan a ir, se quedan, yo voy a intentar regresar, ok, porque sí me está dando mucho problema ahorita. Ok, teacher. Thank you. ¿Va a pasar lista, teacher? Sí, estoy tratando de cargarlo. No me carga ni en el teléfono, ni en el, ni en la computadora. Por eso estoy con el problema. Ok. Pero sí estoy tratando de pasarla. ¿Qué tal les fue con la actividad? 8 de 10. 8 de 10. Ok. I like okay. this. Did you like it? Yes, it was very good. Uh -huh. Ok. What amounts do you think is more difficult to hear? To understand when you're hearing. ¿Qué cantidades les cuesta más entender? Del 11 al 20. Ok. Creo que hay una, y la, la cascarita generalmente está entre 13 y 30, 30. Yes, ok. Uh -huh. 14, 14. Yes. Yes, and thank you very much for your pronunciation because there you see that, for example, when we say 40, it's 40, right? The strongest, I uh, mean, the stress in this word is at the beginning, 40, okay? And the stress in 14 is in teen. It's um, not too remarked, but yes. It's confusing. It's confusing. Okay. It's confusing. Voy a siempre a dejarlo cargando lo de la.
Lo de la lista es en Dark Mode. Ya. Ok, yo creo que ya está cargando. Pero ya hoy sí ya estoy con mis datos en, para poder verlo. Ok, vamos a ver. Bien, entonces voy a pasar lista. Ya lo tengo aquí en el, en, en el otro documento. Vamos a ver. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Present. Ok. Aníbal Osmaro. Present. Hernández Murcia, ok. Georgina Beatriz Saldaña de Guzmán. Georgina Be Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok. Germán Enrique González Valeriano. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Ok. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. Present teacher. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Present teacher. Catherine Stephanie Santos. Present teacher. Kelly Maricela Díaz Lozano. Present. Manuel Edilberto García. Present. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. Rebeca Claribel Bonía Escobar. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Present teacher. Wendy Lisette Gómez García. Está Wendy Lisset. Buenas noches. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present. Ok. Lady Olivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. Present. Okay, there we are. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so let's continue with this. A ver. En la primera, en la primera, solo en la primera, ¿qué, ¿cuál era la respuesta? Vamos a ver. Two fifty cents. Ajá, exactly. Two dollars fifty cents, right? Dos dice tú o two. Puede decirlo two, like a very remark, like t, right? Two, two, two. Yeah, you can say two. Yes, two. Two, mm -hmm. two dollars and fifty cents. Remember? Vamos a decir dólares y vamos a decir los centavos, ¿ok? Number two, do you remember what was the answer? ¿Alguien se acuerda de la pregunta número dos? Seven dollars uh -huh. and fourteen four, four, cents. Seven? Fourteen cents. A ver, quiero escuchar bien cómo me dicen ustedes. Seven. Seven dollars. And fourteen. And fourteen cents. Yeah, miren. Cents. Ajá. La verdad es que nosotros comúnmente lo podemos decir solo 350. Ok. Podemos decirlo 250, 215. Ok. Podemos decirlo así, no hay ningún problema. Ahorita lo que hay que hacer es que hay que tratar de que nuestro cerebro se ordene y se organice, ¿verdad? Si no se van a quedar solamente con la última parte y la parte completa se les va a perder en el, 
en el transcurso. Entonces, vamos a tratar de decirlo completo. Seven dollars and it was 14, right? 14 cents. Ok, bien, vamos a hacer un pequeño dictado, ok? Y ustedes en el chat van a poner la cantidad que escuchan, ¿bien? Ustedes la van a escribir. Here we go, ok? $90 and 79 cents. $90 and... Seven, seven. Repeat, please. Okay, yes, I will repeat. Ninety dollars and seventy nine cents. Ninety dollars. Very good, Marianne. Very good. Well, Isidro, yes. Ulises, very good. Very good, Carmen. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so now six dollars and thirteen cents. Six dollars and thirteen cents. Yes. Very good. Thirteen dollars and thirty cents. Can you repeat? Thirteen dollars and thirty cents. Okay. Thirteen. Dollars? For, for, 14, 14. No. $13 and 30 cents. Someone said 2020. I didn't say 2020, guys. Say, <laughs> hey, come on. 15, 37, 13, 36, 40, 40 37. No, no. <laughs> No, the closest, the closest is 14.30. Yeah, but no. Who <laughs> pay more? Who pay more? Who pay more? Who pay more? Okay, $13 and 30 cents. Esa es la clave. $13 and 30 cents. Yes, Alma. Very good. 30 and 30, 30, 30. Uh-huh. I think it is not. Terry is 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. 30. Yes. Next one. $50 and 15 cents. $50 and 15 cents. Yes, Herman, that's correct. 50, 50, 50, okay. $50 and 15 cents, 50. $50 and 15 cents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Yes, Catherine. Very good. Excellent, Juan Francisco. <laughs> and Herman is in a party. Yeah. Okay. Now, forty dollars and thirty-five cents. Forty dollars and thirty-five cents. Yes. Very good. Excellent. 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 Okay, very good. 
Well, about Bitcoin, we don't know that much, right? We don't know that much. I will try to send you some links about vocabulary of cryptocurrency so you can be more familiar with that vocabulary. We're not going to see it here because we are just uh, studying how much and how many at the moment, okay? How much and how many. Okay, there we go. Hasta el momento vamos bien. Do you have any questions so far? No Not questions? Always. No question, teacher. Okay, voy a decir una última eh, eh, cantidad. $700.19. Yes. Seven hundred dollars and and nineteen cents. You get a letter a, a letter N at the end, okay? So it is seven hundred dollars and nineteen, okay, cents. Oh, there you go. Excuse me. Siento viviendo al límite. Okay. It's very interesting, right? It's very interesting. This this is a trend. Do you hmm. think so? Is it tricky? Why is it tricky? <laughs> no, eh, a medida 19, que ustedes lo practiquen 19. más. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Bien, recordando los números que terminan en cero, como el 90. Bueno, empecemos, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90 y 100. <laughs> Esas. El, la fuerza de voz va en la primera sílaba. Let's say them, okay? 10 and 20, okay. 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, let's go back and let's think about the teen, the teen amounts, okay? Well, we will be saying, 13, okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay, 18, 19, and 20, okay, there you go. Si se mira un poco la diferencia. ¿A dónde va el acento de los de latín? Vamos a poner aquí, los que terminan en tin. Solo para que lo recuerden. Okay. 13 sería en tin, donde lo van a pronunciar más fuerte. Okay. Se los voy a poner así como en mayúscula. Ok. Así. 13. Yeah. 13. Ahora, ¿cómo sería 30? Para que vean la diferencia. 30. Yes. Uh -huh. Así. 30. Okay. 30. 30. Uh -huh. Hay que hacer ese sonido así, miren, con su lengua entre los dientes como una Z. Como una Z española, ¿verdad? 30. 30. 30. Ok, porque si no se nos va a oír como torti o terti, mm, no tiene sentido, ok. Entonces, um, 30. Uh -huh. 30 es 30, ok. Sí. Bien, vámonos, uh, ya casi son las nueve y media, ok. Siempre regresemos a nuestro manual. En nuestro manual tenemos una pequeña lectura de una eh, bienvenida, a welcoming letter, okay? A welcoming letter.
What is the number of page? It's 15. Just we are having some trouble here to share. I don't know why this thing is so slow. Tiene que ser una de las ventanas las que me está fregando, pero no sé cuál, porque ya cerré y abrí y nada. Ok. Voy a tratar de compartir. Ok, la vamos a leer juntos, pero les voy a poner en audio, ok. Déjenme compartir el audio. ¿Estás hablando? Robbers Incorporated, for a better future, dear employee, welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please, read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations. Two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary. $440,000 per month plus bonus. Good luck. Mark Travers, CFO. Travers Incorporated. For a better future, dear employee, welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please, read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations. Two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary. $440,000 per month plus bonus. Good luck. Mark Travers, CFO. Okay, guys. So now, did you notice something in the reading? A ver, ¿de qué se trata esta carta? What is this about? La carta de bienvenida a, a, un, a que está iniciando a trabajar con la empresa. Le, le dice el nombre y la descripción del cargo, las actividades que debe hacer. Very good. Now you know how to say that in English, right? Aquí tenemos el nombre de este tipo de cartas. Welcoming letter. Okay. It's a welcoming letter. Okay. It's a welcoming letter and it describes the activities that this person has to do. Yes? Okay, now let's see something here. Okay, let's read the key job duties. Key job duties are the activities that are her responsibility, okay? Her responsibilities. Duties, responsibilities, activities, functions, okay? Deberes, duties, duties. Activities, responsibilities, functions, okay? So now let's read these activities. Son actividades rutinarias, okay? Routine activities. So let's read them. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. 
take orders on the telephone, call potential clients. A ver, Alma, léame por favor las actividades. Can you please read the key job duties? Um, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer client questions about our products. Take orders on or the telephone and call potential clients. Very good, very good. So does she have vacations? Uh, vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays. Very good. What are the public holidays, guys? What are the public holidays? Asuetos. Mother's Day, Father's oh. Day. Uh, Days uh, of, right? Oh. Excellent. Go ahead. Mother's Day, Father's Day. Día del trabajo. Labor Day. Labor Day. Uh -huh. New Year. New Year. Okay. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. The Holy Holy Week or the Mayor Week. Mm -hmm. Yes. So those are public holidays. It means that everybody in the country has these has these days off days of okay remember that word days of a day of is a day uh that you rest you don't go to work okay on those days so how much is the salary how much is the salary 400 Ok, ¿y alguien notó algo en la grabación? ¿No notaron cómo dijeron eso? No se entendía. No, it cannot be like that. No, 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 that is not possible. That is not repeat, possible. Repeat, please, teacher. Lo que pasa es que se olvida rápido, ¿sí? Se olvida rápido. Va, vamos a ver, pongámosle todo. 400, 440 dollars. Okay, that is the correct way to say it. 440 dollars per month, okay? Four hundred and forty dollars per month. Okay, four hundred forty. Four hundred forty dollars per month. Yes, four hundred and forty. Podríamos decir and forty, que es como lo más común, or just four hundred forty. Okay. 440. Bien, vamos a ver entonces, se van a ir ustedes para el breakout room a hacer esto que está acá. Por okay? Dios Santo. Esta actividad. ¿Quién dijo por Dios Santo? A ver, cuénteme por qué. Sí, claro que Dios Santo le va a ayudar. Claro que sí. Speak English too. Fui yo, fui yo, fui yo. Fui yo. No, Sorry. Prob no problem, Juan Francisco. Ok. Um, no, pero sí, también Dios habla inglés. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver entonces, nos vamos a ir al breakout room and you have to complete that with, I think it was false and or true, okay? You are going to read the sentence or the statement and you are going to say if that's true or if that's false, uh -oh. okay? Page false. 15, remember? Page. Uh, true, true or false only? Yes, no. true or false, according true, true to the reading. True or false? Yes, uh, according to the reading. Oh. Yeah, true. True. Teacher. Mm -hmm. True. I have a question. Uh, for me. example, uh, how many how many weeks per month? How many weeks per month? Four, mm -hmm. I think. It has mm -hmm. to be four, right? That's the common. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's the common. Yes, 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 yes. And the second the question, the one hundred, one hundred for for which week? Okay, so if you divide by the four weeks in a month. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay.
Ờ. Potential. Yeah. I mean, true. What that? True. See, sí. yes. True. Uh, okay, true. Uh, the second, right. her salary is 100, 100 per week. Per week. Yes. No, full. Oh, oh, no, it won't. My salary is no, Seria. No, per, per week. No. no. False. Um. False, ¿verdad? Porque no, ni, ni, yeah. ni por semana serían, creo, 400. Serían 440. 40. Por uh -huh. medio. Hello, did you finish? Ulises and Wendy? No, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. it's like. Okay, do it together. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the idea is that you uh, comment, right? You are going to mm -hmm. enrich your vocabulary if you speak, right? Okay. There you go. Continue. Thanks. Okay, people, so now we're going to see 
Ah, todavía están otros viniendo. Yo creo que también ustedes están teniendo problemas con el internet, ¿verdad? Está más lento. Sí, teacher, yo tengo bastante problema. Yo creía que solo yo, fíjense, y me sentía tan mal, pero gracias por decirme por qué. Es la lluvia. Yo creo, y aquí está haciendo bastante bien. It's kind of windy here. Okay, now let's answer here. If it is true or, or if it is false, okay? So who wants to participate? Tell me, because I cannot see the groups now, okay? No tengo acceso a los grupos, se ha quedado eso detenido. Vamos a ver, alguien que quiera participar, vamos a ver, levante la mano, raise your hand. Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Eh, sería la, la primera, ¿verdad? Dominic, speak. Yes, is it Francisco? Uh, Duke. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Francisco. Eh, Dominic speaks. Do claims in the hair new deal is true. Is it true? Okay, okay, because it's a, I mean, what gives you that idea? Yes, right, because it says get in contact with customers and answer clients' questions. So yes, she speaks to clients in her new job. That's true, right? Okay, let's say true. Uh, her salary is 100 per week. It's false. Okay. It's false. Why is it false? Uh, number two. False. Uh -huh. Why? Number two is false. It's false. Can you tell me why? Why? Because my salary is. Salary is. Forty hundred dollar per month must bonus. Okay, so if you divide four hundred dollars and forty and the four weeks of a month, okay, then it's not one hundred, right? It's more than one hundred. Okay, great. Then three, number three, Henry Alberto. Dominic gets a yearly vacation. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. She has two weeks per year. She has. Oh. Is it false? Number four. Oh, okay, okay. Number four is false. It's false. Okay, yeah, because public holidays. It has to work on the holiday. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, then Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. True. Her salary is one hundred dollars per week. No. False. Oh, Dominique false. gets a yearly vacation. True. True. She has True. to work on holidays. False. 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 Okay. There we go. Debido a que esto nos está fallando un poquito, vamos a continuar ya solo con el manual, ¿ok? Nos vamos a quedar acá en el manual para no movernos a otro. Eh, lado. Entonces, okay. hablábamos por acá. Se escucha bastante interferencia, Ticha. Yo creo que todos tenemos eso, Alma, el día de hoy. Fíjese, yo estoy tratando de encontrar quién tiene interferencia. Y... Bueno, les puse silenciar a todos, ¿ok? Okay. Hoy sí. Vamos a ver entonces esta, esta, en esta página tenemos eh, algo muy importante. This is very important because we are going to talk about financial information and work perks. What are the work perks? What does this word mean? Work perks. Work perks. Perks. What do you think it is? 
A ver, ¿alguien me puede comentar qué entiende por work perks? Ok, les voy a dar un ejemplo y luego ustedes me dicen. This is a work perk. Look, if I say, for example. Issues. Yeah. They life work. insurance. Medical insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe bonuses. Okay. Those are work perks but there are some more work perks that are for law uh, for the country's uh, labor laws okay hay muchos beneficios que son de ley cuando usted lo contratan hay beneficios que son de ley bien entonces tenemos unos beneficios tales y como eh, retirement okay The retirement podría ser como savings, right? Savings for retirement, right? Eso de savings for retirement podría ser como contribution, right? A contribution for your retirement. And for low, they have to pay, right? For low, they have to pay the seven, 75%, right? That's the company who pays that. Okay. It's A of B. Is it a fee? Yes. AFP, okay. AFP, yes. I thought fee. Fee like this. Fee. Fee is uh, un costo o una cantidad que se carga, okay? Una cantidad que se carga como pija. Puede ser variable, pero puede ser, por ejemplo, transportation fee. Um, puede That's ser... A Excuse me? Extra hours? Extra hours, yes. Extra hours, okay. Payment, right, for the extra hours. Extra hours lo conocemos también como overtime, okay? Overtime. Es tiempo después de su hora laboral de ley. How many hours are they um labor hours or the working hours by law in El Salvador how many hours are the legal ones eight hours 40, 44 hours per per week okay 40 to 44 right hours per week excellent per week, mm -hmm. per week. if you work more than 44 hours by law they have to pay except overtime. yeah like an overtime except for a different agreement okay for a different agreement with the employee because maybe they are not giving you some money maybe they are giving you some time off a compensation right that's a work perk too days off okay days off Probablemente no le dan dinero, sino que le dicen, va, entonces vos vas a descansar mediodía, vea la otra semana, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces eso es days off or time off, ¿ok? ¿Qué otra cosa podríamos considerar una work perk o un beneficio del trabajo, beneficio laboral? Like maternity leave. Eh, ticket for for gas, for combustible. Okay, gasoline. Eh, ese puede ser un gasoline fee, okay? Que le dan a usted un dinero, okay? Para que usted compre la gasolina, yeah? Mm -hmm. eh, more day for vacation. Extra days. Uh -huh, extra day vacation. Extra eh, days of. Days. Full salary full salary for for aguinaldo aguinaldo se llama christmas bonus okay christmas, christmas uh, full, bonus full, full christmas bonus yes for, christmas for example bonus. for example the legal is is 
15, 15 days, mm -hmm. uh, the next uh, 19 days, and the next 21 days. Okay. And other, other company pay full. Ah, okay. Yeah, the full salary. Okay, great. Yeah, that will be a very good perk. Yeah, and there are some good companies that we say, oh, that's a very good company because they offer good work perks, right? And maybe we say, oh, no, I don't want to work over there in that company because they don't offer any work perk. Okay, now let's read these conversations. Tomémonos el tiempo para leer esta conversacioncita and they are talking about some work perks and personal information. Okay, so let's read about this. It's between Ben and Jeff. I don't know if Mario is coming here. Okay, this Mario is not in the conversation. Okay, this Mario solo pasando iba. No, no, Mario doesn't exist here. Okay, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four weeks and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, now, um, is there any question so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? ¿Alguna pregunta del vocabulario? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Yo así lo leo, ¿verdad? Pero no sé, yo sé que no se pronuncia así. Extra, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Extra. 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 Cada una. Each es cada. Uh -huh. Each one is cada una. Each, cada. Okay, then, please. Aníbal and Alma, can you please roll this conversation? Okay. Uh, soy Ben. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Jeff, how are, how are you doing? I was to ask you how many days a week do you work? Anibal? Anibal, you are muted. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Bye. Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And, and you? That's great. I work for good days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On, sat on Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for eight extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours where there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not, not much, right? Not much Excellent. time, right? Okay. Oh, for, oh, okay. Thanks, teacher. Absolutely. Okay. Esta palabra se dice absolutely. 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 Oh. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. Okay, because it, it, it is almost 10. Okay, we have only one minute left. Uh, we are off the clock. Y vimos nada más unas pocas cosas about the negative statements. Nos hizo mucho problema la conexión, okay? Pero eh, creo que hemos cumplido el objetivo, ¿verdad? Hemos cumplido el objetivo. Así que uh, déjenme ver si puedo volver a tomar la asistencia.
escuchar. Uh -huh. eh, yo te, te traté de, de estar conectado solamente cada vez y creo que cuando pasó lista no pude responder, pero sí estuve conectado en la clase. Ay, disculpe. Ok, Germán. Ok. El día de hoy, la sesión 1 a 1 le toca a Henry Alberto. Ok. Bien. Henry, ¿se quedaría okay. usted? Henry Alberto se nos desconectó. No, ahí Enterado, está. aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Ok, perfecto. Bien. Please remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Alma Verónica Castro de Serrano. Present. Aníbal Osmaro. Hernández Murcia. Ok. Georgina Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Herman Enrique. Perdón. Present teacher. Ok. González Valeriano. There you go. Uh -huh. Henry Alberto Here Pérez González, ok. Definitivamente me voy a quedar solo con los datos de acá, permítanme, porque ya no pasa. Hoy sí. Isidro Ernesto Acosta Maldonado. José Arnoldo Sánchez Lemus. Present teacher. José Ulises Anaya Cortés. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karina Elizabeth Hernández Gómez. Present. Catherine Stephanie Santos Granados. Present. Kelly Marisela Díaz Lozano. Present. Present. Manuel Edilberto García. Present. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Present teacher. Rebeca Claribel Bonilla Escobar. Present teacher. Rolando José Romero Castro. Wendy Lisset Gómez García. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present. Jensi Dinora Canales Reyes. Carmen Inés Montes de Fermán. Present teacher. Lady Olivet Cruz Guzmán. Henry Vladimir Ramírez Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, people, so thank you very much for your patience and for stay connected as much as you could. So let us meet tomorrow. Remember to do your homework and have a very good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good, good night, night, teacher. teacher. Good night, good teacher. Night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. Hello, Henry. Hello. How Ready. are you now? How are you tonight? <laughs> okay. I'm fine. It's, okay, it's, nice. Nice. Fine. Nice. Do you have any question about the vocabulary or the grammar of the topics that we are studying at the moment? Uh, no, it's uh, my questions. Uh, durante la clase. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, creo great. Que más, eh, mi tema es, más un un, es de hacer tiempo para poder repasar más que, más que otra cosa. Okay. Y de verdad que eso sí me cuesta un poquito. Oh, yeah. I, I understand. I understand. You're busy, right? You're busy, but you, you should. You should. Yeah, make some time. Um, what about the, the homeworks? Everything is okay in the homeworks? 
Eh, it's okay. Eh, I, tengo que ser honesto, no los logro hacer. Oh, <ríe> Veo really? que llegan, entro, reviso un poquito, me cae una llamada y me volví a desconectar. Entonces, pero, okay. pero sí, de, el, el que hicimos ahora, los números sí me gustó mucho. Está... Ok, ok. Era listening, listening. It's very important to, yeah, it's very ah. important to develop that skill, listening. Because sometimes yeah, I, maybe we can speak, we can read, we can write, but when we have to listen to someone speaking in a different accent or the speed is, um, is very difficult. It's very difficult. But yeah, it's the way, it's the way, right? Yes, uh, when when I see the numbers uh, similar, uh, is this is the trick? Yes, yes, that's the point. That is the point to practice and to identify what our deficiency, right? That's uh, the the point here. Okay, uh, just let me ask you something um, about the classes. Are they okay for you? Do you feel okay in the class, or do you have any opinion? Uh, can you repeat me, please? About the class. How do you yes. feel in the class? Oh, right. It's, it's good. It's, uh, you, try, you try a dynamic class. Uh, siento que a veces el grupo no colabora. El tema de los micrófonos, pero en general sí. Yo, de hecho, estaba haciendo un comparativo con mi jefe decía a este grupo le falta más a sombra porque de hecho todos estamos metidos en un mismo grupo de hecho le comenté que me metí al otro grupo por error en la primera clase okay. entonces le digo pero pero es la profesora me dice no no para nada le digo hasta nos puso a jugar tripa chuca le digo, entonces es, es el grupo el que no 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 reacciona <risa> Yeah, sometimes maybe uh, the the I mean the occupations in during the day makes that maybe they are kind of tired, mentally tired or something like that. It's, so I try, I try to do it um, to the pace of each student. But yes, it's kind of slow. Uh, it's kind of uh, slow. And, so, and sometimes we we ate in, in between in class. <laughs> Uh, yes, some some of you are still having dinner, right? Yeah, because I know that maybe you couldn't have a very good uh, time of lunch, right? So or lunch time. So I understand that, but it's very important that you um, make the complete time para que puedan todos eh, for you everybody can improve improve your English or understand don't lose the um, the trace right no perder el rastro don't lose the track uh, during the class even though i try i try as a teacher i try believe me uh but sometimes maybe you are mentally ill i i can feel it i can feel it yeah even eh, aunque los ponga a cantar le aseguro que me va a costar un micachito ajá <laughs> sí, sí. uh -huh. Uh -huh. eh, y con las pero, discusiones, pero, uh -huh. what about the discussions in the platform? What about the discussions? Eh, solo intenté una, pero creo que es lo mismo. Le entré, lo chequeé, lo vi, pero no lo terminé de, de, de terminar de llenar. Okay. Como uh -huh. le digo, sí, pero sí, por ejemplo, los, los, los quiz, los quiz, eh, esos pequeñitos así como que realmente le dan esa pequeña victoria a uno durante el día y dice ok uno va pero okay. hay que hacerlo pues entonces yeah. sí me ten, créame que los días lunes los viernes son un poquito más complicados para mí pero estoy tratando de hacer el tiempo por lo menos al mediodía de, de decir tomo mi media hora de comida y dedicarle un ratito a esto ok, sí, okay. De, de Monday and Friday is very complicated eh, because the, the time is is como de limited. reducir okay. limited, limited mm -hmm. time ok eh, it's uh, traffic yeah. it's, it's travel with the from Santa Ana to San Salvador oh god so you travel every day eh, no I, I live in Santa Ana eh, on 
during during the week and I'm back to San Salvador uh, every Friday. Oh, in the sorry night. to hear that. It's yeah, it's complicated for you. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. But congratulations because you decided to um improve or to do something. I mean for yourself. Okay. Uh and then thank you. Th there is no there is no comparison with people that they have everything by hand okay at hand you have to work a little more right you have to work a little more than others so congratulations for that yeah we appreciate <laughs> I, that i i try a good a good, a good job i try uh a, a, a learn english i try exercise <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah. Eh, de hecho, Leo, sí, de verdad, I, I have a bad pronunciation. Eh, la semántica malísima también. But the Pero thing is that tengo, you tengo, identified, tengo, right? You identified tengo. what's your, your weakness in English, right? So now that you identify that, that's the... Uh, the best way to work on it, okay, to improve that. Maybe you are good at reading, so you have to practice more writing if you are not good at writing. If you are not good at listening, then you have to improve listening by listening, right? Because I, I always say, I always say, if you want to learn to sing, then you have to sing, okay? If you want to learn to play the guitar, what's the, the way? You have to play the guitar. If you want to speak English or to learn English, then you have to speak English. Practice, right? practice learning yeah. English. Yeah. Yes. There is no other way. There are no magic formulas. No more other, <laughs> no more other way. <laughs> yeah, no magic formulas. Yo, te, te, tengo como meta poder hablar con los gringos en Santa Ana. Yeah. Okay, good. Yo, sí, hay, hay muchos turistas extranjeros. Eh, de verdad, quiero ver hoy que fui a... A Honduras, eh, uh -huh. me tocó responder, me, me, hay muchos turistas gringos, me tocó, me preguntaron algo, le entendí y medio le respondí, ah, qué bien, dije. Ah, oh, very good, very good, that's the test, you passed, you passed the test, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. in the reality, that's the way to pass the test, yeah, uh -huh. very yes, good. We, we mm -hmm. need practice, we need a uh, uh, repasar uh, make homework. Do homework. Pues, okay. eso, eso es lo que do homework. Mm -hmm. Eso es lo que necesito hacer tiempo. Oh yes, you Pero, you do sí. you do do it please do it. And if you have any question at the time that you have the question, maybe you are working on the platform or you were working in on a discussion or maybe you are reading something about the discussion or in the in the manual, then you can ask through the WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh, don't hesitate, just do it, okay? Do it and feel free to ask for any kind of that that you have about the homework or the discussions or the uh, manual exercises, okay? So uh, anything through the WhatsApp group, okay? And also in the class, you can ask. Mm -hmm. Feel free to ask when you don't understand something, then you can uh, stop the class and say, excuse me, I have a question, okay? So that's uh, my objective is to help you to get your objective, okay? Thank you. So I think if there is no questions, I think we finish, right? Right, thank okay. you so much. Okay then, have a very good night, Henry. Me too. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good rest.